My name is Dr. Patrick Lumumba Saisi, the sitting deputy governor of Higa County. I would like to address my supporters in Viga County on my position as far as elective position is concerned in the county of Vihiga. It has been a long journey. First of all, I would like to thank them very much for supporting me all through from the time we got in 2017 up to now. My supporters have been very good, very supportive, and therefore I would like to thank you for that. Secondly, I would like to address the issue of election. This election has been uh, very challenging, but there are issues that have emanated that we have tried as much as possible uh, to solve. First of all, I was in ODM. I left ODM. I went to the, into the party of the Equitable Party, of which it was registered this year. But later on, we were told that. Uh, Yes, we are registered, but we cannot field candidates. Then from there, I moved to be an independent candidate so that I can be able to run for gubernatorial position of Vihiga County. When I did that, I did all I could. I went to register political parties. We went to IBC. Everything was done. Signatures were collected for independent candidates, and uh, I was ready to go. But then uh, I had an invite by the former governor, uh, Moses Akaranga, to join him so that we can be able uh, to work together. We agreed that I should join them party to party, PPK and the TEP. That means the Equitable Party but not as an individual. So we had an MOU that had been written so that we can agree on the modalities of working together. That was done. We had agreed that we should share the government 50-50 if at all they were going to sign that agreement. So far up to now, the agreement was not signed. The issue being that uh, PPK wanted money before signing that agreement. And we thought as the Equitable Party, that is not the position. So we agreed that if they, we need to work together, we must have a document that will guide us. Since then, they have been on and off. Let me say that after I had they had absorbed me as a running mate. The stalemate has been ma about money. We say, the Equitable Party says, you sign the document, we provide the funds, and they say, give us the money before we sign. I think as time has gone, later on, on Thursday this week, I heard that uh, my name had been removed from the IBC list and somebody else's name put there. Up to now, I have not gotten any communication from PPK on what happened. In fact, up to now, had I not gotten this information from my friends in IBC Nairobi, I wouldn't have known that my name had been removed from the list. And therefore, my supporters, this has messed me up because timelines are already gone and I've been removed from that list. I would like to urge you to remain calm as I strategize on the way forward. I'll be, uh, soon be telling you what I have planned so that you all know that we are still together in this. And no matter what it happens, we must have a say in this government, uh, county government of Vihiga. But I would again like to thank you for sticking with me, supporting with me, 
when there are many challenges in, in, in good times and in bad times. And therefore, I would like to tell you that very soon I'll be able to tell you the way forward. Thank you. I would like to tell you, my supporters, as I prepare to tell you uh, the way forward, I want to reiterate and maintain that I'm still and we are still supporting Raila Amolo Odinga for president. And therefore, I'm in Azimio to stay, to make sure that we vote Baba in so that uh, we can see some differences in various parts of this country, including Bihiga. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, kwa majina ni naitwa Isaac Mbono Mboi, kwa mkaji wa Bihika. Vile vile nikiwa chairman wa the Equita Party, chairman Bihika. Ah, uh, ilikuwa ni furaha yangu wakati ni chama cha TEP kile kimesajiliwa kukawa ni ya kwamba nitakuwa na candidate Bihika hii wala ambaye tutaenda nao safari ya ya siasa. Lakini ilipofika pahali ya kwamba sheria imesema ya kwamba watu wangu hawataenda kwa njia kuonekana ni tep kukawa waenda independent. Mheshimiwa eh saisi akiwa miongoni mwao ilikuwa ni wakati fulani ambaye ilionekana saisi amenialika ya kwamba tuende tukaongee na mzee Moses Akaranga ilichukua hiyo majukumu kama chairman kaandamana na hawa wazee Lujeli Indabala na Maraba tulipopaenda kwa mzee alitukaribisha kwa njia iliyo nzuri tukaongea kwa hali ile ambaye inaonekana tutafanya kazi pamoja lakini tumeendelea tukiwa tunataka tufanye hivyo Kenya ni kuja kumsoma ya kwamba ni yake ilikuwa ya kwamba chama cha TEP sipotoa pesa haitakuwa rais tufanye kazi pamoja na PPK hapo imeendelea ndio nimekuja kupata mshangaa ya kwamba eh, ametoa jina la candidate wangu ambaye alikuwa amesimama independent ya, ni ya kwamba hawatafanya naye kazi sasa langu tu nilikuwa nataka niambie watu wa vihika hasa sana watu wa tiriki imeonyesha kwamba huyu mzee wangu akaranga hana hacha na hana nia nzuri na sisi wa tiriki kwa hivyo ningeomba watu wangu wa tiriki wala ambaye tunakaa sehemu hii ya vihika na tukotiriki akaranga ametuonyesha njia kuonekana hataki sisi watiriki kwa hivyo tunapoendelea na hii safari vihika nikiruti huku pande kwetu vihika amini hamisi tusahau na jina la karanga kwa sababu amenionyesha picha isiyo nzuri kwa hivyo nitafika hapo nikisema ya kwamba yale ambaye Tichi ama Patrick Saisi atakucha nalo ya kwamba anataka tumsupport kwa ile ambaye atawanakana ametuelekeza kama ni azimio mimi niko tayari kuomba nyinyi watu wangu wa abisi tuandamane na yeye tumsupport huyu baba Raila Omolo Atinga nafikiri yangu itafika hapo Thank you uh, mimi ni Samuel Busieke Shinga ni mmoja wa wazee kutoka kwa Supreme Council Hamisi Tumekuwa na Patrick Saisi kama kiongozi wetu kwa muda mrefu Wakati alisema ameleta kia, ch chama chake ya equity tulikuwa naye pamoja tukijua yeye atakuwa mmoja wa wale wanataka kupata kiti kwa governor katika vihiga hiyo chama wakati walisema imechelewa ku, ku aiweze kufanya kazi yeye alikutana alikuja kwa sisi tukamshauri mpaka atafute njia akaenda kutafuta karatasi ya independent Akiwa huko 
kila mara yeye anakitaka kufanya kitu anakuja kuconsult anakuja kusema wazee sasa haya nimefanya nini nimefika mnifanye nini sisi tulimuelezea atafute vile atesa kusimama kama kava na vihiga akiwa huko mzee akaranga alimuita wazee wa watriki walienda pamoja naye kwa kwa karanga akamhakikisha anaenda kuwa pamoja na yeye ile kitu chochote kilikuwa kikifanyika kwa Patrick alikuwa akikuelezea afanye kitu kwa kwa, 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 kwa upinafsi akafika mahali akasema mambo ya pesa akaranga naonekana anataka tu pesa ndio ni asaini makaratasi hivi tu kuamuka leo tumesikia yeye awezi kuchukua Patrick kama uh, mmoja wa, wa wateza kufanya kile yeye tumeshangaa na tungali tunashangaa tunauliza Patrick tafadhali sisi ni wazee tunataka kufanya pamoja na na mzee Raila Omolo Odinga yeye na sisi na watu wa vihika na kwanza zaidi zaidi watu wa triki asa mmoja ya wa vihika wa <coughs> sub county atuelezee wale watu wake kwa bunyore maragoli tiviki tupika kura kwa mzee Raila Omoro Odinga ni haya tu tumeanza na mwanzo hii haiwezi kuwa na mwisho mzee wakati anaenda kupeleka makatasi yake tarehe sita. tunamuuliza sisi huku vihika tuko pamoja na yeye thank you